In a 10-minute special meeting, city councilors unanimously approved a new contract between the city and locals 235 and 244, who represent city clerical workers, library staff, and public works employees. In the new deal, the union agrees to a wage freeze, a 12% contribution towards their health care premium, and 5% into their retirement fund for the next two years. City leaders say these concessions could save the city $700,000. Ask Me staff representative Jim Matson says the contract isn't perfect, but this is the new reality for labor negotiations. Certainly different than anything I've done before, and uh, it, it's a very unusual time. The world has been turned upside down as far as labor relations in the state of Wisconsin, and uh, there'll be a lot more coming, I'm sure. While Douglas County is currently negotiating with their nine bargaining units, they've decided to hold off on ratifying contracts until a clearer budget picture emerges out of Madison. However, Superior City Councilors say despite not knowing what the complete budget picture looks like, signing a new contract is good for the unions and the city. They say a threat of layoffs are something the unions and councilors are prepared for. And we're speaking to the unions. They are prepared to walk that road anyway. Uh, I give them credit for uh, coming to the table with concessions that we had asked them to do. So both sides worked together on this. Both sides working together towards an uncertain future. In Superior, Trevor Roy, the Northlands News Center.